looking at programs that would be available to her when she graduated high school. My goal for this new program could be no less than what she was experiencing now. It had to be diverse, meaning the types of disabilities included, had to be supportive, challenging, and fun. I wanted her program to provide her with fun, peer interaction, and field trips. My search was not going well. The more programs I looked at, the more aspects I saw that I didn't want rather than what I did want. I quickly realized while I was observing potential programs that I had expectations that needed to be met along with the goals I had set to keep Kristen happy. While I enjoyed not having to work about personnel or worry about personnel, age groups, and location while she went to school in her district, I now had to add this to my list of needs. In fact, for me, the staff was the most important part of the program. These employees had to be kind, capable, caring, and energetic. They had to want to be there. How do you measure that? How do you ask those questions effectively? Also, I found the age group in the programs could include young adults to very old adults. This was not ideal. I really wanted to keep Kristen in a group with her peers. Finally, the program had to be close enough so I could take her at least three days a week. Many programs I observed, I specifically asked to attend during an activity to see how the interactions were to see the level of participation. Every time I was disappointed. There was no activity. The excuse was, they are just having free time before lunch or bathrooming. Or, they are just winding down after lunch or bathrooming. Or, there was music on and it was a dance party, but there were no interactions between the staff and the attendees. Their idea of a field trip was going grocery shopping once a month. My fear became a reality as Kristen graduated in May of 2014 and I had no program to transition her to. Every day she asked, but by school? It was heartbreaking for me every day as I told her no. Luckily, during the summer, I had amazing childcare, but if I didn't find something for the fall, well, that was unthinkable. In August, I had a call from someone I had been working with from Clearbrook during my program search, and she's mentioned a new pursuit program in Rolling Meadows. She gave me an overview of the Pursuit program, and I thought to myself, a collaboration between Clearbrook and the Northwest Special Recreation Association, two organizations that have amazing reputations, I could not get off the phone fast enough. I called Liz, the program manager. She explained the program to me, answered all my questions, and we scheduled a trial period for me and Kristen. Of course, I wouldn't participate, but they had to make both of us happy during this trial. Immediately, my personnel concerns evaporated as I met the employees and watched them interact with the young adults. How this organization attracts these people amazes me. I looked at the daily, weekly, and monthly curriculum. When I asked for this type of information from other programs, the best I was offered were activities written on a chalkboard. At Pursuit, the amount of activities, along with the number of choices per day, was mind-blowing. And I'm not exaggerating. Every day, they get to pick an activity to participate in from three different choices three to four times a day. That's nine to 12 activities planned a day. Although grocery shopping is sometimes a choice, that is not considered a field trip. Neither is the library. These are choices. They actually go on real field trips and the entire class can go. Did I mention some programs didn't have transportation for everyone to travel together, so they would have to split the class up whenever they did go out? The trial went great for everyone involved and Kristen started the program three days per week immediately. To give you an idea of the day at Pursuit for Kristen, I want to share what she did just this past Monday for her first activity of the morning, where they took her out of her wheelchair and put her in her walker. She enjoyed 15 minutes of walking. Her second morning choice was yoga, where they placed her on a mat to stretch out and she was encouraged to move her body. 
her after lunch and a bathroom break, she was given six more activities to choose from. Her afternoon choices were cooking and acting. They made banana graham cracker bites in cooking. And for acting, they acted out the story of the three bears with Kristen, of course, playing Goldilocks. Her favorite part of the day was the story of the three bears because she knew her lines. Do you know how I know all this? It's because a staff member writes a report telling me about her day. We call this her homework, and we go over it when she gets home. And then she gets to do her homework with me. And then she gets to do it with Dad when he gets home as well. She also loves the staff. One favorite is Mary Ann, and she worked on Mondays, so we would call her Mary Ann Mondays. Another favorite is Bill. He has the same dry sense of humor as Kristen and doesn't let her slack on working hard. Linda is a new favorite because she uses music when Kristen is in her walker and they dance while getting exercise. In fact, I could name each employee and give them a characteristic of why Kristen likes them so much, but I don't have enough time. They only gave me 10 minutes. <laughs> Four years later, and I still love this program and everyone associated with it. I don't know how we were so lucky for someone to care about this population enough to create a program such as this. The fact that there is such a waiting list is a testament to the need of these programs, but also to the success of it as well. While living in Crystal Lake, I drove 45 minutes each way to participate in Pursuit Rolling Meadows. This program is so important to our family that when we sold our home in April, we specifically chose to move to Schaumburg to be in a district and close to Kristen's school. Although Kristen's twin brother, Eric, is moving to Florida to begin his career as an attorney in October, we had planned to join him, but I can't take Kristen out of pursuit. This gives her such happiness and joy and me such peace and comfort that I am having a hard time with the thought of ever leaving this incredible program. Now every day she happily says new school and I am able to say yes. Thank you for participating and doing your part to make this program possible for these wonderful young adults. So thank you.